What up, what up? It's Lupe Fiasco with Sheen, Hard Knock TV, a very happy seventh anniversary. You know, hopefully many more to come. You heard? Now imagine that's a shorty, maybe five, maybe four. Riding around with his mama listening to the radio. And a song comes on, and I'm not far from being born. Doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. Now I ain't trying to make it too complex, but let's just say shorty has an undeveloped context about the perception of women these days. His mama sings along, and this is what she says. I know that in, in interviews, you've actually shouted out people like Kendrick and, and Blue. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get a chance to work with any of the, the younger generation on the album, or is, is that something that, that's of interest to you? Um, no, nah, I'm just more audience. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, I've, I've met all of them. Uh, I've actually worked with Blue on a uh, Beeman remix, um, you know, and have kind of bumped into Kendrick in different places and what have you. But it's, it's less, you know, it's less me wanting to collaborate and just me just wanting to be a fan. Like, it's, just, it's something that I don't, I don't want to be a part of it, not out of, I feel, ego or pride. It's more so just, you know, just to, let me just watch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me just enjoy it from a distance and not feel like, ah, oh, I got to be a part of it to make this, da, da, da. It's like, nah, I just want to see them succeed, you know, and it not be tainted. Because sometimes when you, when you, meet somebody it kind of taints what they make you know what i'm saying like it becomes a different experience and it's like i'd rather just keep it fan i'm a fan so i'd rather just stay the fan i don't want to come backstage i just i'm happy in the crowd kind of a thing you know but we'll see you know, we'll see you're balancing stuff within a commercial realm do you feel that you have to sneak in substance to song um not on this not necessarily I think it's just more of a, you know, kind of find, trying to find an interesting way to tell a story, you know, um, and to take something that, uh, that, you know, rarely gets talked about, you know, and talk about it. You know, how do you do that? You know, I think every person will have a different way that they tell a story. Some people probably do it a little bit more metaphorically and a little bit more vague. Some people do it even more direct. Um, you know, it just, it just depends on the artist. You know, and what he, how he chooses to express himself. So, you know, I, what some people may think is sneaking in on certain songs is just me just being blatant, you know. And then certain songs that people think are just super direct is actually just me kind of being a little bit more vague. Um, but, you know, I think on the surface you, under, you know what the songs are about at the end of the day. I don't think it's like a big mystery or like, you know, it's a big, you know, it's not like, it's not like it's a riddle. You know, at the end of the day, like, you know what Words I Never Said is about. There's nothing kind of hiding behind that. Whereas a song like uh, uh, The Instrumental, you know, you, it, you, it may take a little bit more digging to kind of get what the song is about, but in this totality, it's not something that's, that you need to be a rocket scientist to kind of figure out. Um, it's people who still think Kick Push is about drug dealing. You know, I had a dude tell me, you know, he thought Kick Push was about basketball. So, you know, who knows what people think at the end of the day, so. Ah, the plot thickens. High heels, long hair, fat booty slim. Reality check, I'm not tripping. They don't see a paid actress, just what makes a bad yeah. bitch. Bitch bad, woman good, lady better, hey misunderstood. With lasers. Some of the lyrics were actually a lot deeper and a lot darker than previous mm -hmm. albums, but because the, the beats might have been a, a little bit more electro based or a little bit more pop sounding, they're kind of like, oh, well, lasers is this or lasers is that. Um, do you feel that as your subject matter gets darker, you have to balance it out by having different kind of beats or the kind of music that, that you were feeling at the time? I don't really hear too much. When people say that, I don't know what they're talking about. Because um, there's like three songs out of 14 songs. You know, where it's like you heard an electro album because you, know, you heard three songs, and that just kind of like you know I don't really comment on or respond to it because that's just someone's interpretation. Um, but I don't necessarily look at it as being an electro album, you know, or a dance album or anything like that. There's a couple songs on there that borrow elements from electronic music, but you know, I'll Black Everything is an electronic song. Letting Go is not an electronic song. Words I never said is not an electronic song. Till I never, till I get there is not an electronic song. You know, it's, you can go on and on and on. Um, so I don't necessarily see that. So I can't respond to that because uh, to me that's a misconception. Um, as far as you know, musically for this record, uh, is more modern 
hip hop beats, I guess, if that's the, the best way to do it. But if people think that Lasers was a electro music album, then it's like, you know, what's to stop them from thinking that, you know, you know, this album's gonna be an electro music album. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you turn on TV, all you see is a bunch of what the f dude is dating so and so, blabbering about such and such, and that ain't Jersey Shore. Homie, that's the news. And these the same people supposedly telling us the truth. Limbo is a racist, Glenn Beck is a racist. Gossip Strip was getting bombed, Obama didn't say. That's why I ain't vote for. Next one, either. I'm a part of the problem. My problem is I'm peaceful. And I believe in the people. I know uh, you're very visible uh, during the Occupy uh, Wall Street movement. Mm -hmm. What lessons do you think we can learn from that, and, and what do you think is, is the current state for, for the movement? Oh, it's still going. Uh, we still we set up uh, we set up offices in Chicago, which are still going and planning different things from there. And it's more just kind of attaching, you know, ourselves to whatever we feel we can be assist, you know, helpful in, you know, with whatever whatever community activism or community organization or what have you. Um, just to show our support for whatever it's worth. Um, and then I always felt like it, uh, Occupy Wall Street was an incubation classroom kind of thing. And so just to kind of keep that atmosphere going as much as possible uh, is something that I think we're, we're trying to accomplish. You know, you know, I never thought it was a revolutionary take over the world thing. I just felt like it was a spot where people of like minds in different mind states could come in and you know, learn from each other. So that's still going. Do you feel that now that the cameras have gone away, that, that people kind of, maybe not forgotten about the movement, but it's kind of in the back of, of people's minds? Yeah, that's what happens. That's what cameras do. You know, cameras are meant to put something in the front of your mind. You know? And then when they're not there, guess what? Whatever that was goes to the back of your mind. Um, so, you know, I, I think it was less about the visibility. That's why I said I never thought it was something that was, you know, to me, the cameras didn't really mean anything, you know. Um, other than that, just to give it visibility, but it didn't necessarily need visibility. You know, I think it's something that needs to be invisible, you know, so you don't have those pressures or you're not dictated by the media, because that's what it is. When the cameras went away, people thought that it failed. That's like saying when they stopped filming the murder rate in Chicago, that the murder stopped when the cameras went away. That's clearly not the case, um, you know. So I think where it is now is actually is better. Um, because it, the, the eyes of the media are on it and they're not necessarily dictating it, dictating what it is and what it isn't, you know, and we, we're defining it what it is for ourselves, so. Uh, I think that all the silence is worse than all the violence. Fear is such a weak emotion, that's why I despise it. We're scared of almost everything, afraid to even tell the truth. So scared of what you think of me, I'm scared of even telling you. Sometimes I'm like the only person I feel safe to tell it to. I'm locked inside a cell in me, I know that there's a gel in you. Consider this your belly now, so take a breath and hell a few. My screams is finally getting free, my thoughts is finally yelling down. You've actually talked about retiring from the music industry. Mm. What does it mean to be in music but not, but retiring from the music industry? Uh, it's not too much of a drastic revolutionary thing. You know, it's the end of one thing stepping into another capacity. You know, um, you know music business is a very uh, taxing thing. I've done it for a long time. You know, I've been doing it for like 12, 13 years. Um, in various capacities, all major labels. I've been on almost every major label. Um, and it's just uh, time to do something else. You know, I, don't, I don't really look at it as being that abrasive or crazy of an idea. Ah, oh, it's crazy. I don't, I don't really look at it like that. Um, but yeah, as soon as this contract is up, we'll step more into an independent space you know, um, and have the freedom to do whatever we want, so to speak. Uh, is, uh, is teaching uh, as a professor in the future? I remember seeing a tweet where, mm -hmm. where you kind of uh, insinuated that or inferred uh, yeah, I got an offer, you know, it's in the works, you know, um, but it's, it's not a, a it's, it's, it's not solid yet, you know, so it's just something that came up kind of whimsic, not whimsically, very serious, but just kind of like, okay, put it, let's put a, you know, go back to the drawing board, figure out what you want me to do exactly, put a plan together, and then let's go back to the table. So that's what's happening right now. And, you know, if, uh, you know, if it all comes to fruition, I think it'll definitely be something that I'll be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Manifest it, say that we should protest just to get arrested That goes against all my hustling ethics A bunch of jail niggas say it's highly ineffective Depart from all and connect on Malcolm X tip Insert ball when it's similar to separate To me, the truth is more fulfilling than a method Of finding really fast internet to have some sex with What's uh, the latest with All City Club? Is that, uh, is that a, a group that will ever put out an album? Or is that just kind of like, we are the homies? 
it's just a group of homies, man, and where they may or may not put out some music. Um, but it, it was never meant to that. It was more to just kind of be a nod to like, yeah, I see what you're doing over there. You know, we're doing the same thing over here, and dude is doing the same thing over there, and that guy's doing the same thing over there. Um, and if music music has come out of that, you know, um, beaming and different kind of little collaboratives, but uh, you know, as far as it being a full Wu Tang esque kind of thing, you know, it's yet to see. You know, it's, that's ten different schedules, you know, trying to come together to create something which can be very hectic. Um, but we'll see. But at the end of the day, it's still just kind of like a brotherhood, you know, all city chess club. The same with uh, Child Rebel uh, Soldiers. And stuff. Um, back burner. It's on the back burner. That's on the back burner. The album with, with Pharrell is on the back burner. You know, all that stuff is just kind of you know, back there. We'll see. I go as left as a heart in the chest because the horn of Africa is now starving to death. Live from the other side, what you see? A bunch of nonsense on my TV. Heaven on earth is what I need. But I feel I'm in hell every time I breathe. Live from the other side, what you hear? A bunch of nonsense all in my ear. Rich man, poor man, we all got to pay. It's free to make free, especially around my way. Food and Liquor 2 in store September 25th. Uh, around my way. Uh, bitch bad. Lamborghini Angels, and uh, more to come. And I'll uh, see you guys on the other side. LupeFiasco.com. Peace.